Hi everyone, so I'm not sure how many of you remember about this but I've actually made a video that how software matters with my Pixel 4a and Android has changed a lot after that. The thing is we did not get any devices after Pixel 4a officially in India. So now I want to talk about whether my opinion has been changed about Pixel devices or not. I'm going to share my experience based on Android 13 because I've been using Android 13 beta on my Pixel 6 Pro for a long time and now there is a stable release of Android 13 on my Pixel 6a and all I can say is this is the best Android experience I've had in a really long time. I know this is a vanilla Android experience and some of you out there prefer more features and more customizable experience which is fine but those things come with a cost. You can get a lot of bloatware out of the box, ads baked in the system, stupid permission to accept before even setting up the phone, and a lot of unwanted notifications. I love that Google added this feature where you open any application for the first time and it will ask you whether you want to enable the notifications or not. I can't tell you how many times apps just send unnecessary notifications and you have to go in that notification section just to turn them off. 90% of apps in my phone have notification disabled and trust me, it is peaceful. You still have all those options to customize notification in the settings but I really like I can just turn them off by default and not worry about it. I'm not sure whether all the OEM will enable this feature by default on Android 13 when they will update their phones. Which brings me to the another major point that you get the latest update on Pixel devices. It does not matter whether it's a flagship phone like Pixel 6 Pro or just an older device like Pixel 4a, just like iPhone. So that is something great about having a Pixel phone which you cannot say for any Android phones. Then there are just small small features about a Pixel that will give you a nice feeling. Like I always enjoy now playing feature and whenever I switch to any other phone I really really miss it. Especially when I'm out and there's a song playing. It happens many times that you really like that song but you cannot recall it and then you just go in the now playing history and play it in any app you want. I also love the new animation in Android 13 and that has always been the case with Pixel and Nexus phones for a long time. They have a very different and subtle animation which makes it premium somehow. Like how you go from always on display to lock screen, the charging animation when you plug in the charger, the unlock animation every time you open or close any app is just a very very smooth experience. I've used many Android phones but trust me. The Pixel always had a different aesthetic when it comes to animation and overall UI. It's clean and polished if I ignore the Android 12 release. There is another subtle feature that if you start using it, you're going to miss it on any other phone. Like if you want to share a picture from Instagram, there is no simple way. But when you just go to recent app and click on that image icon, you can send it to anyone. You can even edit it before you want to send it to anyone. I love those new music cover on the lock screen and even in the notification tray. They change with every song. And I also like those curvy lines when you play the music. And if an app is running in the background, the notification tray will tell you that the app is active. So if you want to close it and don't want that background activity to eat your battery. There is also a very small feature that I've started appreciating after using an iPhone. The auto rotation has face detection in Pixel. Sometimes when you're scrolling and you're laying down, you don't want the screen to rotate, but you also do not want to disable the auto rotation. So face detection actually detects if you are laying down in a position and the phone does not auto rotate. There are other features like live translation or dictation that works flawlessly on Google devices. I know it might not be useful for everyone, but it is useful for a lot of people who travels a lot or just hate typing. See, I know the Pixel devices are not there when it comes to ecosystem like Samsung or features like Tex or even Bixby routines. But when it comes to the daily use, uh, it can give you an amazing experience. Also, you do not have to pay for a flagship premium to get the same sort of experience. So if you get an A-series device, you're going to get the same experience. And it does not matter how many custom ROMs like Pixel experience you're going to put on a Redmi phone, it's not going to be the same experience. I mean, you also need time and resources to do that and knowledge. But even then, it's not going to be the same experience because the software experience is in itself, it's a little bit expensive and you pay for it because of the longer term good experience. You don't have to worry about the new updates and everything. So that's where I think, I mean, it's good to invest in a phone that is going to last you longer, where you do not have to worry about the software itself. And I also think from my last video to this day, a lot of people have started appreciating a good software and also some brands like even Ico are promising longer updates. I'm not sure how it's going to be true, but 
at least I'm happy they're doing that because I know a lot of people have been ditched by Xiaomi and Realme in the past. So I think they now know the value of a good software. I know some features like 120Hz refresh rate and a better camera sensor or even something like a dual app support is going to be important for you. But if those things are not a deal breaker for you, I think you should choose a software over hardware any day because uh, you're going to use a phone every single day and you're not going to look at the hardware like how it's going to look how bigger sensor in the camera you have or it's a 120hz refresh rate display and that's going smooth but and it comes to actual experience when you're actually using an any application i think that is going to matter a lot if see for an example you cannot drive a sports car with a bad steering wheel i know it's a stupid example but you get the gist on the other hand, I really love my Pixel 6a and I'm going to make a full review about it. Uh, and I want to say one thing, I know it is an expensive phone, but I wouldn't call it overpriced because it can give you every basic thing you need in a, some sort of premium way. So uh, if I have to pay a little bit extra to get whatever I need, I'm okay with that. Let me know your thoughts about this topic. Have you changed your mind or you still prefer a better hardware over a better software? You can follow me on Twitter and we can discuss about it. You can also subscribe on YouTube if you want to watch me occasionally. My name is Rohit. I'll see you in the next one. Till then.